Hi, good afternoon. We're here at Fitness Together Mission Hills again. And today we're going to be talking to you and demonstrating the front squat with um, dumbbells. And this is an excellent squat variation just because with the front squat as opposed to a hack squat holding the dumbbells down to your side or doing just a body weight squat, we're going to activate a lot more of our core strength and we're going to have to use a lot of our upper body to kind of maintain an upright position throughout our squat. So for this one, the most important thing that we're going to be able to do and when we go ahead and grab these dumbbells is we're going to have to get them into the front rack position. So all that's going to look like is we're going to have these up on our shoulders and we really want to get our elbows in and up. And what that's going to do is as you can see, now that dumbbell is kind of leaning back into my body a little bit and it's going to be super important to maintain that position throughout the squat. Otherwise, these dumbbells are going to fall forward and they're really going to pull my upper body forward, which we really want to avoid. So for the first thing we're going to do, we're going to get our dumbbells up in that front rack position. We're going to get our feet shoulder width apart, slightly angled out, just about a 10, 15 degree angle. And now for here, we're going to keep our, our chest and head are going to stay up through this whole movement. And we're going to just stick our hips back towards the wall. We're going to get a nice deep squat, really focusing on staying back on our heels. And what that does is that's going to help us activate our glutes and our hamstrings a little bit more. And the only reason we're going to try to do that is because our quads aren't very strong muscles, even though there are, um, I mean, relative to the rest of our leg muscles, our big posterior chain, our hamstrings, our glutes, and our lower back. Those are the guys that really do a lot of work. So we're going to help our quads out. Our quads are our main leg extensors. So they're going to do all the work they can. And instead of letting the slack kind of get picked up by the knees, we're going to use those big muscles in the back there to go through this. So chest and head up. We got our good, good stance with our feet. And all we're going to do is we're going to stick those hips back. We're going to squat down, maintaining that upright position and right back up. And this moves really tough. It takes a lot, a lot of effort to keep those dumbbells up. And it's super, super important. A lot of core work, a lot of lower back work. So we'll show you one from the side here. So same foot position. We're going to get in that front rack position. Elbows are going to stay up and in. Hips coming back, chest and head staying up. Nice deep squat, driving back up through our heels. And then that's going to be that one. And then there is another variation, um, a move to this. So we could just add an overhead press at the end of this. And then now it's a thruster. So what that's going to look like is we're just going to be right here. Same squat. We're going to come to the top and add an overhead press. And what that overhead press does is it makes this move a lot, lot harder because those are two of the most cardiovascular weightlifting moves that you could do. That front squat does it just because it activates everything from your shoulders down is either lifting or stabilizing and that overhead press makes your heart have to pump blood up your arms. So this is really going to be a big cardio move and once you're really, really comfortable with that front squat, go, go ahead and feel free to jump into that. Um, and that's going to be all for today. Thanks for checking in. Again, we're at Fitness Together Mission Hills and where one-on-one -on -one gets it done. <laughs>